That was a beautiful story and another one uh, that I tell, you know, uh, about just never giving up. Uh, it, the interesting part of that is, is we had lost a Hall of Fame quarterback in Tommy Clements. So we had new quarterbacking and then the, the new quarterback member, Tom Mickey, he got hurt early and then a guy we had just picked up and barely been there a couple of weeks, ended up being the starter, boom, surprisingly in an early game. And so we had a brand new rookie quarterback for us, and, but we had what you said, a good defense and a good kicking game. And Bob Cameron just kept us in games all the time, uh, punting the ball better than the other guy did and field position. So uh, that team, and it actually, that team actually got off pretty well. And we were in a position, I remember nine and six, and I was thinking to myself, okay, we got, we got three games left here. And if we, if we uh, can get some momentum and win these games heading into the playoffs, we're gonna be in really good shape, be in first place, all that stuff. Well, with those thoughts, we then proceeded to lose three in a row and not only lose them, we got beat badly. Uh, BC beat us badly doubled our score out there and then Toronto just beat us up at home. I mean it was it was not pretty and uh, so we enter we we are definitely limping entering into the playoffs and 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 then the rest of the story is is that you have to believe in yourself and that team did and was were able to kind of put the disappointment behind them and play one game at a time until we won you know a, a uh, really, really close game against BC in the Grey Cup that was unlikely for everybody, you know, because I know nobody really thought we could do it. I think they, there was 12,000 and some people at the first playoff game against Hamilton. And the reason for that is they just didn't think it mattered for either, because Toronto was so good that year. And I remember the neat thing was after we uh, won the Grey Cup, they made those t-shirts that said I was one of the 12,660, whatever it was. I thought that was awesome. And I think there's 30,000 people that say they're- That's right. Yeah. They sold about that many of those t-shirts probably. Oh, that was just almost like the perfect game. It, there are no perfect games, but that was a beautifully played game by the Bombers now. That was- you know, every part of it, the special teams, uh, the, the defense. We were just, we were, I would say, on offense, we were efficient during the year. Uh, never would I say we were overly explosive. We were, we, we were great on defense and lots of stuff happened defensively. And we had the, the best kicking game, the best punter. and and um, all that in the league and offensively we were just efficient but that night we looked great and we were playing our best tommy burgess was outstanding uh, perry tuttle made a bunch of plays and and the running everything was working you know and uh, and and defensively we were good now it didn't it wasn't right away but as that game went on it was just a you know it was just a really great performance by the bombers